Tracy Stana here. Welcome to another episode of my YouTube vlog. And today we will be talking about what you need to know about HIV in three minutes. Ideally, it should be less than three minutes. But I hope that at the end of this video, you would get to understand why you need to take your HIV status seriously as well as your sexual health. Now, let's get to it. What is HIV? HIV stands for Human immunodeficiency virus what this means is that this virus attacks the body's immune system and the body's immune system is supposed to help you fight diseases and infections now when this virus invades the body it does not allow your immune system perform its function in defending your body against diseases and infection hence the body is susceptible to all kinds of infectious diseases. Now, there are three levels of HIV seriousness. The first being that it's possible that the body might not show symptoms. These people already, they don't know that they have the virus in them. So it's easy for them to just spread it unknowingly to other people because their body is not exhibiting any symptom at all. The second being that symptoms would be displayed it's displayed in the sense that they wouldn't even know that it's hiv but you know fall ill chronically they're always treating one um, illness or the other every other month or every other week that's a symptom now when hiv is left untreated for months and even years hiv becomes aids at this point the immune system is totally broken down you can't contract aids when someone infected coughs or sneezes you can't contract hiv through mosquito bites you cannot contract hiv by eating with the same person who has contracted hiv but you could contract hiv if you do not use protection if you share your sharp objects with other people you should keep your sharp objects to yourself use it only you can't contract hiv if you have multiple sexual partners you can have HIV through blood transfusions of infected HIV persons. There are different types of HIV tests you could perform yourself or you could have a health worker do for you. There's the oral swab test, there's the finger prick test, and there is a blood test, of course. HIV and tuberculosis. Now, tuberculosis is a disease that infects the lungs, but somebody with HIV is 18 times more likely to have tuberculosis. This is why it is generally accepted or known that anyone with HIV needs to get tested for tuberculosis and anybody with tuberculosis needs to get tested for HIV. If one is affected with HIV, that person can still live a healthy, normal life. The important factor is to detect HIV on time. We have come to the end of this video and I hope that this video would encourage you to take your HIV status seriously and visit any health center to get yourself checked. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.